Hey everyone, how's it going? In today's video, I want to show you guys how to make a walrus. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and follow along. Now to start with our walrus, we're going to begin up here and I'm just going to make a little circle for the eye. And I'm gonna add a smaller circle inside there and I'm just going to color this in. Now, directly across from this eye, I'm going to add just a small little bump for where the other eye would be. And I'm going to, right above here, just add a little line that goes up and down, and then another one that just goes up and down here. Next, starting up here, I'm gonna add the nose. So right here, we're just gonna add a little line that kind of curves down, and then another one right here. And right here, we're gonna add a little curved line. Next, starting here, I'm gonna make a line that goes up, and it's going to come down. And I'm gonna draw a little line that comes back up. Then right here, I'm going to draw a line that goes down, and I'm going to curve this around. Now, right here, we want to add their great big tusks. To do this, we're just going to make a line that goes down. It's going to make a little bit of a point and then come back. Right here, I'm going to make a line that goes down and then over. And then I'll make another line that just goes down. It's gonna to come to like a rounded point and it's gonna come up here. I'll add a little line right there. Next, starting up here, we're gonna make a line that just curves around and it's going to come down. And then right here, I'm gonna add a big curved line here. I'm also going to add a little line underneath the eye. Then right here I'm going to add another little curved line. Now starting here I'm going to add a line that just curves down. I'm going to continue this line down. Then I'm going to add another line that curves down here. Then starting here, I'm going to make a line that just goes down, and it's going to come out just a little bit. Now starting here, I'm going to make a line that goes down. We'll draw a line that goes out and curves back. We'll make another long line that goes out and curves back. And one more, and then we'll come back and bring it up to here. Right here, we'll make a nice long line that curves down. Then starting here, we'll make a line that goes down. It's gonna go out and it's gonna curve back. One that goes out and comes back. And one more right here. We'll add a couple little lines just to show they've got lots of little wrinkles. And I'll bring a line that comes up here. Then I'm going to make a couple more big curved lines. Walruses have a lot of blubber on them. I'm going to draw a line that comes up to here. Then I'll make a little line that goes out and comes back. Out and back. And one more here. Then I'm just going to draw another little one right here just to kind of show where their back little feet are. Now, I want to add some different details onto our walrus. So I'm going to add some big curved lines right along the body here. Just show that he's got lots of texture on him. 
and he's got lots of big lines. Maybe a couple more lines right around the legs. And just a couple little lines right along here. I'm also going to add lots of small little dots on here. And the reason I'm putting these dots on here is because walruses have lots of little whiskers that are going to go on here. Then I'm just going to come in here and add some quick little lines for some whiskers of our walrus. And then right here I'm going to add a little line right above and below the eye for our, our walrus. And then maybe a little line down here. And there you go. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.